You know, there is no better place to enjoy your favorite sparkling barley malt beverage than in the great outdoors. <laughs> Unfortunately now, the great outdoors doesn't come with any built-in end tables, and you end up forgetting where you left your beer. Now I got the perfect solution. Get yourself one of these plumber's helpers, and that'll do the trick for you. Now go high-end on this, get the deluxe model with the built-ins, got the little inside extendable cuff there, and you stick that unit into the ground, ram her in there good, upside down, and there's your perfect built-in drink holder right there, eh? Always close at hand, and you'll never forget where you put your beer. It's the Red Green Show! And now here's the man who never says die, because it just might be true. Your host of Hero, my Uncle Red Green! appreciate it. Uh, actually, a bit of a disappointment up at the lodge this week. We had a fishing derby going on against uh, Caribou Lodge up there on Mercury Creek. And we caught more fish, but they ended up winning. Somebody got paid off somewhere down the line, I figure. Well, well you know what it is? Most of your fish end up getting disqualified. Well, they were, well, they were frozen and still had the price tags on them, so... <laughs> You know, the point is, we caught more fish. I don't think we should be penalized for ingenuity. <laughs> to me, cheating just means you care about winning. Oh, man, I know a way. I know a way you can get revenge on those guys. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you challenge them, like, because it's, like, it's National Health Care Week, right? So you challenge them to a blood donor competition. <laughs> What are you talking about, Harold? Yeah, blood donor competition, it's great. Yeah, all you have to do is donate more blood than they do and you guys win. It's fantastic. I do it all the time, doesn't even hurt or nothing. No, yeah. Best part is, best part is, best part is, afterwards, a nurse comes up to you, you know, she's wearing like a white dress and white stockings. All right. She gives you juice and cookies and rubs your arm no, and asks how you no, feel. No, no, no. Out of the question. I cannot give blood. I, I need it all for my lifestyle. <laughs> and, uh, and to hold my veins open. Oh, yeah. oh okay. No, no, if you're afraid, I understand. That's okay. What? What? No. No, no, I'm not, I'm not afraid. No, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Not afraid. Oh, okay. That's not fear in your eyes? I thought it was fear in your eyes. Not fear in your eyes. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Harold. I'm going to go challenge the Caribou Lodge guys. And if they're up for it, I'm in. <laughs> you think they might refuse? I'm banking on it. Uh. <laughs> it's time to play the Possum Lodge word game, and today's guest is local explosive expert, Mr. Edgar Montrose. <laughs> grand prize, a brand new stereo receiver supplied by Soupy's Electronic Emporium. <laughs> Some reassembly acquired. <laughs> okay. Uncle Red, you have 30 seconds to get Mr. Montrose to say the following word. You have to cover your ears, Mr. Montrose. Not necessary. <laughs> okay. Today's word is... Delicate. <laughs> Delicate. Yeah, all right, Harold. <laughs> Go! Edgar! Edgar! This is something that's easy to break. Marital commitments. No, 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 no. What word comes to mind when you think of bone china or crystal? Oops. <laughs> Say you're on one of your demolition sites there. There's a little flower in there, eh? a tiny flower, dainty little petals. You would say that flower is... Toast. <laughs> I remember the old water tower, remember? You blew that up and you didn't even scratch the factory next door. You must have been very... Embarrassed. <laughs> Embarrassed? Well, actually, I was hired to dynamite the factory. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Lunch hour. You take a break, you go over to Schaefer's Delicatessen, what do you order? Oh, corned beef on rye. Okay, but not just any corned beef. You order Schaefer's special... Deli cut. There we go. <laughs> I can't believe it. 
those Caribou Lodge guys accepted our blood donor challenge. This is so excellent. No. This is great. Oh, we are going to beat them so bad. Yeah. Oh. How do you figure that, Harold? Look, Red, you guys have never given blood before. You're ripe. <laughs> It'll be great. Oh, yeah, blood's just going to come gushing out of you guys. Oh, Talk about something else. Please. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ever see when someone steps on a grape? You just go <laughs> like that. <laughs> just gonna shoot. Oh my gosh. What? You know what? We know what we should do. We should race down to the blood donor place right now. Get a head start on. No, 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 no. I can't. I can't. I can't. Give, I don't. I can't. I can't give blood today. No. No, because it's. You know what? It's still full of toxins from the weekend. Oh no! I'll be okay. I'll be okay. Yeah, it's not a problem. Because anything's wrong with your blood, they'll tell you. So come on. No, no, no. So come on. So come on. So come on. I'll go when I'm good and ready, all right? Okay. You know, I'm, uh... I didn't want to say anything, but I'm, I'm not I'm not really... I'm not feeling all that good. Oh, no. You no, know, I... Really? I, yeah. Are you coming down with something? Well, I... I you know, I got a the throat thing. I, this could be the mumps. It feels like the mumps. The me? mumps? It could be the mumps. Oh, no, mumps are bad. Yeah. Well, so mumps, yeah. mumps are really bad, yeah. you get it. You're, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. That's... Mumps, wow. Yeah. Because I thought it was something like, you know, the... chicken pox. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I knew that would get his blood up. <laughs> oh, there once was a guy named Hardhead McCall who liked to do things fast. He ran like the wind and ate the same way, always ready and fully gassed. He had a fast boat with 400 horse, I tell you, that baby could fly. But when he hit the bridge doing 110, he decided to give stopping a try. <laughs> You know, I've been meaning to get the possum van cleaned up for the last couple of years. Just can't justify paying five bucks at a car wash when I can do every bit as good a job at home for nothing. And then when I get home, I can't justify washing the van knowing that a car wash is so much easier. It's a vicious circle, isn't it? So this week on Handyman Corner, I've come up with a simple solution. We're going to build our very own car wash. Now, obviously, uh, can't get the possum van into this dishwasher. Unless <laughs> maybe I take this out, unbolt. Uh, no, 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 I don't worry. So, what I need is an empty waterproof box that's big enough to hold the van, which I believe we have right here. Now, to fire out the water for our car wash, you could use one of those special irrigation hoses from your garden, or you can just convert a normal hose using your lawnmower. <laughs> Rummage around in your basement for old clothes that you'll never wear again. Oh, I know you can give your old clothes to poor people, but poor people don't have cars to wash, do they? Look at this stuff. Isn't that great? Silk ties. These work great. The ghost of Christmas past. <laughs> oh, my golly. Look at these. Size 30. Remember the 60s? Oh, my God. All right, what you want to do is attach all this stuff to the inside of your garage door. It's just like putting up Christmas lights. Except with these, you put them up once and then you can leave them up forever. So it's exactly like putting up Christmas lights. Now you can attach these on here with the metal rivets or fasteners of some kind. Of course, I recommend the handyman's secret weapon. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, I, uh, I guess we're done for today. <laughs> All right, you want to make this a regular pattern on here. That way you get even coverage on your vehicle. See? Now, all I do is I park the van in the garage, turn on the hose, I open the door, and these hoses running across here will wash the top of the van. And these loops hanging down will rinse off the sides. <laughs> All right. Now I need scrubbing brushes. Soft scrubbing brushes made of silk and cloth. See where I'm going? <laughs> Let's start with the work pants, huh? Let the work pants do the work. All right, now these are going to give the front and the top of my van a beautiful chamois wash. And I've mounted these brooms, uh, brooms on here so that as you're coming in, that'll scrape the food off from going through the drive-thru. All right, let's, uh, let's give her a try. 
Boy, look at that. Isn't that, uh, isn't that, uh, <laughs> see how that will work? See, just brushes over here. So, so I'm not getting scratched here. No scrapes. It's just, it's a beautiful, it's a great, great. Yeah, okay, uh, just a couple, a couple more uh, features on that. Uh, I mounted a hose right onto the floor, and it's going to shoot up and wash underneath the vehicle. And here's a feature. Uh, I got a couple of these hockey sticks uh, making kind of railings for us, so that when you bring the vehicle in, it'll keep straight in the garage. Some of you might want to put these in, even if you don't build a dishwasher. All right, I just need the detergent now, and just, uh, yeah. I figure that uh, any, I'm um, sorry, I figure that, any detergent that'll take baked cheese off a fry pan will take baked mosquitoes off the front of your windshield, huh? So let's just uh, load up the work pants and let her fly. All right, now once you've got your hoses attached to the dishwasher, you're all set to go. So remember, if the women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. <laughs> Excuse me if I look a little smug, but I just saved five bucks. <laughs> Also cleans the inside. <laughs> I want to talk to you older guys about something that's very, very difficult. Apologizing to your wife. <laughs> this is the toughest thing that you will ever do. Now, whatever the issue is, I realize that you are 99.99% .99 sure it wasn't your fault. <laughs> but you know something? That should remain our little secret. <laughs> You've been married long enough to know it's not your job to be right. <laughs> it's your job to apologize. <laughs> and you gotta do it properly. You can't just say, I'm sorry for everything wrong that I've said or done in the past and possibly saying or doing now or may say or do at some point in the future. That's not gonna, you can't do, you can't do the blanket. What you need to do is, you need to be able to fake sincerity. Now, you've done it at least once before or you wouldn't be married. Well, you need to learn how to do it again. Uh, what I say you do is apologize to somebody you don't know, like a stranger you'll never see before. Kind of get your skills up and get ready. And then when you think you're ready, look your wife straight in the eye and say, Honey, <clears throat> it's all in there. I just... Uh, Sorry, remember, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. I feel a little lightheaded. Yeah. I've never given that much blood before. You know, I, are you okay now? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm all, I don't know what happened there, Harold. I, I I started to give blood and then I just I just blacked out. I think they took too much. <laughs> too much. They took one drop to test it. You saw that and you fainted. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> but that's okay. I think it's because you have type O blood. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. like. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Come on, now, I wasn't the only one to keel over. Yo, no, that's, okay, that's yeah. true, that's true. A lot of the guys fainted. Yeah. Except Moose Thompson. He gave 12 liters of blood and only his left leg was tingling. <laughs> no, no, that's great. I bet, I bet we're beating Caribou Lodge already, then. No, 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 they're still ahead of us by 10 liters of blood. I got a great idea. What? what? I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to include organ donations, Harold. Right? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's good. I like that. Yeah, yeah. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. You'll keep giving the blood. I'm gonna get out of that business completely. Okay. I'm gonna sign over my organs, Harold. That's what oh. I'm gonna do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know my liver's got a few miles on her, but I'll tell you, my spleen is like the day she came out of the showroom. That's a good, that's yeah. a good idea. That's yeah. a great start too, but yeah. what about your heart and your lungs yeah. and your eyes, you know? I bet you got a gallbladder like a butternut squash. Yeah. Well, 
whatever it takes, Harold. Hey, whatever okay. I can do for my fellow man. Yeah. Come on, let's go down there. You give a little bit of blood, and I'll sign my organs over, eh? Today? I don't know if I can give more blood today. Well, Harold, if I can sign a piece of paper, the least you can do is give a few liters of blood. <laughs> Joel's gonna do a little uh, gardening. Jumping up and down on the shovel as he does. <laughs> careful, careful, careful. Ah, ah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. So he's, uh, he's cut out the sod. He's just gonna roll that, roll. Yeah, just roll that, roll that up there. Just set that aside. Just set it aside there. No, I said set it aside. You, that was, you didn't have to know. You just set it all right, all right. So, uh, um, yeah, oh, well, usual well, start. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So now he's gonna, uh, don't step on the flowers, you're, not, but you're gonna till up the ground there and uh, get one of those special things. And I happen to notice a sign, which I'm thinking perhaps he didn't pick the best. This is why we got the land so cheap. It's right, uh, the Trans Canada Pipeline is right, going right through. I think, no, 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 I, I think, you know, I think we should pick up Bill. I think we should go with Bill, Bill. Uh, all right. This is what I'm saying. Um, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. You know, it's 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 really Bill. Really hard to deal with 2,000 miles of gas. You know, and we learned that in Mexican night. Uh, there we are. Beautiful job. Well, all all. No, you didn't. You didn't seal the leak. You just put out the flame. That's that's gas. That's. Bill, let's, let's gas on it. Let's, why don't we just leave? Let's just go. Let's leave. Let's go. Let's just... Bill, I don't... Bill, no, no, no. I don't... That's a, that's a short-term solution to a long-term... No, don't jump on... Don't jump! Don't jump! Don't, don't, don't! Uh, uh. <laughs> Watch out for the rake! The rake! The rake! Oh! Oh! Here comes the roller! Here comes the... Oh, Bill! Oh! the expert portion of the show. This is the part of the program where we like to examine those three little words that men find so hard to say. I don't know! <laughs> it's true, isn't it? Okay, <laughs> joining me Uncle Red today is Mr. Mike Hammer. <laughs> All right, our letter for, uh, for the experts goes as follows. Dear experts, I have a problem. I have a birthday coming up and my husband is far too generous with his gifts. <laughs> Last year he got me a new foreign sports car. The year before it was an emerald and platinum ring. We do not have, we are not wealthy and we cannot really afford his largest. How do I mention it without hurting his feelings? Aw, that's so lovely. Oh, it might be lovely for her, but thank goodness nobody else's wife is watching this show. <laughs> was, uh, was that uh, sports car emerald ring lady uh, local address? <laughs> St. Paul, Minnesota. Oh, that's too far to go. Uh, too far to go to, to, to... Well, they just seem like such nice people. Right, yeah, all right. Well, you know, I'll tell you something. Uh, it's not just a gift day. The gift doesn't is not the best way to say you love somebody. You can just... You can do that with a real nice card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice try, Uncle Red. <laughs> you know, Mr. Green, there's a better way to buy gifts, you know. You buy expensive stuff, see? Yeah. And then you fence it, and you collect the money. And then you, you claim you've lost it, or it got stolen, right? And you collect it from the insurance agent, right? And then you buy another replacement present, and uh, then you end up with a big profit. <laughs> OK, no, I think that's a good plan, except for the going to the slammer part. <laughs> Well, I mean, you, you trade jail time for the profits of your crime. I mean, it's pretty straightforward, right? I and mean, your time for someone else's money. You know, if, if you traded the jail for an office, that's what straight people call work. Is it just me, Harold, or is Mike making sense here? No, it's just you. <laughs> I, I'm just pulling your leg, Mr. Green. Uh, you know, a, a lot of people do that in prison. <laughs> uh, you know... <laughs> I wouldn't want anybody to be breaking the law and getting caught and thrown in the slammer. I mean, I feel just terrible about well, that. Well, I'm really glad to hear you say that. Yeah, so, so listen, everybody. Don't get caught. Okay, I'm okay. Come on. You okay? Come on. 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 Come
Come on. You can okay. do it. You can do it. I'm you, okay. You can do it. You can do it. You can I'm do okay. it. You're all right. You can do it. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Easy, 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 easy. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. You all right? All right. All right. Rock you up! No, no, no. 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 I'm your Uncle Red. Uncle Red? Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Boy, Harold, you did a great job giving Aww. all that blood. Oh, man. You know what? You beat Caribou Lodge all on your own there. Can I, can I get you anything, Harold? Yeah, I'm thirsty. Yeah. You know what? We got a bunch of, a bunch of drinks downstairs. Get yourself something. I wouldn't mind a pop while you're down there. You know? Okay. Okay. You know, uh, and by the way, I forgot to mention this earlier. You know, if you wanted any of my organs after I'm gone, you know, heart, lungs, anything like that, just say the word, you know. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, right, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind your brain. Hey, you got it, buddy. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I figure it's like brand new. <laughs> Is that my veins or is it meeting no, time? Meeting. <laughs> meeting time? Yeah, you go ahead. You all right? Yeah. I'll be down, I'll be down in a minute. I'm okay. All right. All right. I'm okay. Just give me a push a little bit. Okay, there we go. All right, if my wife is watching, I'll be coming straight home after the meeting. And uh, I know I promised you my heart. You may have to settle for my giblets. And to the rest of you, thanks for watching. On behalf of myself and Harold. Harold. And the whole gang up here at Possum Lodge. Keep your stick on the ice. Harold, I'm sorry. <laughs>